Hey, Frank DeMayer, I'm a privacy expert and blackmail strategist. So I'm gonna talk about the idea of like full-blown privacy protection. And so what happens is when a victim becomes a victim of blackmail, they're very myopic and all they think about is preventing exposure. Preventing exposure is the objective of conquering all blackmail cases. However, it's, it's a limited form of protection because if you're married or you know, you're employed and the blackmailer knows about your spouse or your job, you need to think about protecting those people and your employment equally. Because if you only focus on getting out of the blackmail and preventing the exposure, I mean, you don't know if in three months from now they're gonna hit up your spouse or your job. So think about blackmail as a long-term protection you must create. And what I do is I create disinformation. My expertise is, you know, taking over, posing as you, but equally, you know, feeding disinformation to the blackmailer, you know, a fake business website. On that fake business website, there could be a fake spouse or, you know, feeding them a fake spouse phone number. The idea is to pretty much change what the blackmailer knows about you through disinformation. Because if you don't change what they know, they could show back up in three months and it just starts over again. So, you know, if they're contacting you on WhatsApp, you gotta get them off of WhatsApp. If you wanna get them onto another app like you know, Telegram or Signal, where you can use an ID as opposed to your mobile number, and you wanna create a fake email address and feed that to them. So the idea of total, full-blown blackmail protection is when the blackmail is over and done with, they know you as somebody else and they know your spouse is somebody else and they know your employment being in another place. That's full-blown blackmail protection. Now, if you need help with blackmail, reach out to me. My name is Frank M. Ahern. I can help you. If you're being blackmailed at this moment, the first thing you wanna do is stall the payment. Just tell them you have no money and you need 24 hours to get money. That stalling will give you time to figure out the next step of combating the blackmail. It's gonna be difficult to stall, it's gonna be stressful, but if you don't stall and you pay them, they're just coming right back at you. So be safe, any questions, reach out.